Hi, my name is Florian Schmold, and I'm a sales and applications engineer at ZES Zimmer in Germany. Today, I'll be presenting you the Precision Power Analyzer LNG670 and show you some of its features. At first, let's take a look at the front panel. The front panel consists of a touch display, the soft keys, the measurement and setup keys, as well as a rotary knob. Also, there are two USB ports at the front. The touchscreen can be used intuitively with your finger or by using a stylus. The touch function can also be deactivated by pressing the touch key. And to show you it's deactivated, I can tap on the screen and nothing happens. But now we can use the soft keys instead. At the back, there are slots for the channels. Optionally, the LMG can be equipped with up to seven channels or with six channels and one process signal interface. For the LMG 600 series, you can choose between three types of channels. Types A and B allow for simultaneous measurement of narrow and wideband signals, called dual path. The sensor connectors are located below the current inputs. A variety of current transducers offered by the Zimmer can be connected here using plug and measure. This feature sets the scaling factor and the ranges automatically so that you can start measuring immediately. Furthermore, there are various interfaces on the back to connect the LNG600 to a computer for data exchange. In addition, the LNG600 is equipped with a VGA DVI interface to connect an external monitor or video projector. This is the default menu, showing you the most important values such as the voltage, the current and the power. To see more details of, for example, the voltage, you can open the voltage menu by pressing the corresponding button. And now you get an overview of the contents of the voltage signal. This is the graph menu, showing a scope view of the mains voltage. Any input signal can be visualized in different ways. These include a plotter, a harmonics view, and a vector diagram. The transient menu allows for triggering on certain events. There is a wide variety of trigger conditions. For example, upper and lower limits can be set to monitor a signal and record it once the limit has been reached. The custom menu lets you design your own menu and create custom formulas. All types of measurement values can be positioned together with images, graphs and texts. This allows the creation of complex measurement screens to best support your measurement application. Global device settings can be adjusted in the instruments menu. Here you can set things like date and time, as well as adjust display and LED brightness. In the interface menu, you can select which interface to use. You can select between the serial and the ethernet port. In the options key menu, you get a list of all the available hardware and software options. In order to retrofit a hardware option or to enable a software option, please get in contact with your local ZES Zimmer representative. In the group menu, you can change the grouping of the channels. For each group, you can set the wiring, dual or single path processing, signal coupling, the filters, as well as the synchronization source. The channel menu lets you change the range settings. You can switch between auto and manual range. Pressing jack changes between direct and sensor input. To change the scale factor, tap on sensor. Now you can change the scaling as well as the delay between the current and the voltage inputs. In the following videos, we'll show you the features of the LMG in more detail. 
You can find us online at zes.com. More links are in the video description. We hope you liked this video. Thank you for watching.